Welcome back to Safety Town. It's summertime and one of my favorite things to do is go swimming in the pool. Do you guys like to swim in the pool? Of course you do. Living in Florida, we have water all around us. Unfortunately, that makes Florida one of the highest in the nation for drowning deaths. Water safety is very important for all of us. Let's watch our friends from the Florida Department of Health Drowning Prevention Program as they share some very important safety tips. All right, Ryder, are you excited for summertime? Yes. You have two and a half months all to yourself. Are you guys excited about summer? So, what fun things do you have planned this summer? I have plans for going in the pool with my friends. Ah, pool, okay, do you know how to swim? Yes. Nice, Ryder, when did you learn how to swim? Since I was a baby. Good, good, good. So who are you gonna be hanging out with this summer? My friend Jackson. Okay, okay, does Jackson know how to swim? No. Actually, do you guys know how to swim? So do you think, do you think Jackson's gonna get swimming lessons? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm hoping he does. So now that I know you're gonna be in the pool a lot, what are some things we have to make sure that we get before we go out into the water? Adults washing. So supervision, right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And what does supervision look like? Where parent is watching you when you're in the pool. Good, good. So should they be on their phone? No. No, no, no. Should they be um, going inside? No. Good, they have to be right there, right? So let's say you're in the water, you're having a good time, but Jackson grabs onto you. How can we get away from him? Go underwater and swim away. Good, good, good. You have to go underneath the water. You have to swim away. So now that you're safe, how can we get Jackson some help? Um, calling a parent. Good, good. We have to shout for help. We have to call anyone out there helping, right? But then we can also do something called reach, throw, don't go. Do you guys want to learn what reach, throw, don't go is? Always remember to shout for help. Call 911. Call for an adult. Make sure you find something around you. Make sure you get on your belly. This will make sure you are balanced. You throw it out to the person and you pull them in. All the while shouting for help. So now I know that you know how to be safe out in the water, but do you know how many inches it takes for someone to drown? Two. Good, it takes two inches of water for someone to drown. Now that you know it takes two inches, that's literally, I take a finger over the nose, under the lips, and that's it. If this is covered underneath water, that's enough for you to be in trouble in the water, right? So now that you know it takes two inches of water for someone to drown, where can we find two inches of water inside the home? Bathtub. Bathtub. Sink, the sink. And a bowl of water. A bowl of water, right? If you have a big dog, that dog dish has water. What about um, a toilet? Can that be a hazard? Yeah. And even a bucket, right? If mom is mopping the kitchen floor, that can be a hazard. Because when do you think babies start to crawl? Um, when they're like first born. Six months, six yeah. months, they start um, crawling seven months. So if they're crawling, can they fall into something like a dog dish or yeah. a bucket? Very good. And if they start walking, that's even bigger danger, right? Right. All right, Ryder, so we talked about how to be safe inside the house. Let's talk about how to be safe outside the house. So where can we find two inches of water outside the house? Um, in a pool, a lake, and other things. Awesome, a pool, a lake, a pond. Do you guys have a lake or a pond or pool outside your backyard? All right, Ryder, so we're done with pool time. We're done playing in the water. What should we do with all the toys that are out still in the water? Go put it in where they're supposed to go for and like awesome. no kid is attracted to it and they fall in the water. Perfect. So we're going to make sure all toys are put away and stored away so that child doesn't get to that toy. Very right. good. So now we've put all the toys away. What can we make sure the pool fence is now? It's locked and closed. Very good. We have to make sure it's locked so nobody can go back in. All right, Ryder. So do you know any fun pool games? Um, yes, me and my friends play underwater dodgeball with like these lacrosse balls. Nice, that sounds super fun. Do you guys know any fun pool games? So growing up, I would play swim around the world and the way it would work is you would hold your breath and you would go all around the pool deck and whoever got there the fastest would win. But Ryder, do you think holding your breath for too long can be dangerous in the water? Yeah. Because if you hold it too long, you can pass out. Make sure to listen to your body. Breathe, swim, breathe, swim.
Hello, everybody. Do you remember me? Let me give you a hint. If you can hear me, clap one time. If you can hear me, clap two times. I am so very happy that you tuned in. My name is Miss Monica, and I am so sorry that some of you could not be here for the field trip or the upcoming field trips that are coming, but we wanted you to know that we are here for you and we are bringing Safety Town to you. We hope that after you watch these videos that you continue to be safe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.